We see today so many people that are forsaking following God's commandments. But they'll come to church and try to make just this one big sacrifice. And be, oh, maybe I'll make up for it. And God's like, this is gross. This is sick. No, just do what I said. Don't try to give me your money. Just follow my commandments. Now, of course, if you ever want to give a free will offering, that's biblical according to the Bible. But God doesn't want to accept your offering when you're just spitting in His face and not following His commandments. Amen. Your offering's an, it, it's just an abomination in His sight. He doesn't even like it. He doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to have, you, have anything to do with it. Look at Ezekiel 18, verse 10. It says, If you beget a son that is a robber, a shedder of blood, and that doeth the like to any one of these things, and that doeth not any of those duties, but even hath eaten upon the mountains, and defiled his neighbor's wife, hath oppressed the poor and needy, hath spoiled by violence, hath not restored the pledge, and hath lifted up his eyes to the idols, hath committed abomination, hath given forth upon usury, and hath taken increase. Shall he then live? He shall not live. He hath done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon him. The Bible makes it clear when you don't follow God's word, when you live in sin, for the wages of sin is death. Right. We're not talking about oops, a spanking. We're not talking about time out. We're talking about death today. When people go out and they get drunk and they smoke marijuana and they do all kinds of drugs and they live wicked lives, we're talking about death. And it's not a, it's not a thing to take lightly. That's right. It's a thing that people are ruining their lives, they're ruining their children's lives, they're ruining their families' lives. All kinds of people could tell you today, oh, i got a drunk uncle who, who, who got drunk and killed himself in a car accident. Oh, I have a family member who was killed by a drunk driver. It wasn't even their fault. We see people that, you know, their children grow up and go into wickedness. People committing adultery constantly. People committing suicide. This is real. And we see there's a consequence to sin. It's not this, oh, God's not mad at you. God's not going to punish you. Nothing bad's ever going to happen to you. No, if you live in wickedness, you will be punished. You will have consequences. And many times it's death. Yep. Many times it's you know, irreparable damage. Things that will destroy your life. 